Hey, so I'm packing up for a backcountry camping trip. We're going to be canoeing into a site not too far from Perry Sound. I'm just doing some camping on Crown Land this weekend, and what I've been doing here is starting to pack up my gear. And uh, Rawl actually asked me if I could do something where I would show what, what all the gear is that I've got going, so I'm going to start going through kind of a little bit of a list here. So, clothing, of course. Yep, got clothing. Uh, I'm going to be taking the camera, which is currently in my hand, but there's its little bag. This is this here is my my Thermarest uh, self-inflating little sleep pad, which is very handy, very comfortable, and takes up really not too much room. Although it probably is the biggest item that I've got. Uh, since we're canoeing, got the life jacket going on here. This is kind of my food and drinks bag. As you'll see here, I've been packing up uh, various dried and dehydrated foods. I have tea. I have little Crystal Light packets. That's actually an ST packet, but whatever. Over here, just kind of like some basic gear, tent stakes for uh, for my shelter, uh, you know, matches and a waterproof case, flashlight, a multi-tool which will come in handy, uh, my survival knife, uh, my pipe. Don't really smoke too much pipe, but do try to do so on, you know, here and there and definitely will this weekend. Uh, over here, Nalgene bottle. This is, uh, this stuff here is mostly for my cooking stuff. This is just a neat little two-piece system with a, uh, which is basically a sippy cup almost thing. And uh, the other part is just a bowl. And these kind of slide together or slide apart, but I can't really do it with one hand. This is just an origami plastic plate. And then here's my uh, my Trangy alcohol burner, which is inside, uh, well, my little my titanium cook set here. And of course eating utensils, and this is, this is the uh, the alcohol that you use for, for burning in the transia, which my transia is actually is already full. I'm not even sure I'm going to take this because I don't know how much I'm going to use it. Because almost everything I, I have should be able to go right on the fire. This is kind of the survival pack area. It's got a first aid kit going on in here. Got a pack towel, emergency poncho. Over here we got, uh, you know, muscal and uh, of course, you know, sunscreen. And this this is where I'll put my probably my iPod and my phone once uh, once we get towards the water. It's my Pelican. Those things are awesome. The pack actually is this big thing here, which is really not as big as it may look. It's only a, it's a 55 plus 10 liter pack here. So I've got a couple of trekking poles. I need one for sure for uh, for the sill shelter that I'll be putting up. Uh, over here I've got a I've got a collapsible saw. I've got my hand axe. Possibly not necessary, but we'll see. This uh, this thing here is for uh, turning my turning my uh, thermo rest into a, a camp chair. And if we open this thing up, which I'm going to just do quickly, because it's already packed pretty tight. This stuff I just keep it in here. All right, mosquito netting. I got some rope. But that's rope all just kind of packed all over the place. Got just a little blue tarp in there. I'm going to probably use as a ground sheet. I got a uh, integral uh, design sill shelter, which I'll be using to sleep under. I'm not actually bringing a tent for this trip. That's my backpacker uh, sleeping bag, which is only good about to about seven degrees, but that's going to be fine since it's the end of July. This yellow thing back here is my rain jacket. Uh, I believe I've got a couple other little things also stuffed back there. Just uh, really just stuff like other other ropes and such. Got a couple of beaners on the side here, and uh, yeah, that's more or less the gear that I've got uh, packed up and ready to go. Now I just need to uh, to get it all in the pack. And we're only gonna be going for uh, for two nights. We're heading out tonight and canoeing into the site. By the time we get up there, it'll probably be a little dark, but that's cool. Uh, the guys I'm going with, they know where the site is really well, so shouldn't have any issues. And then we're coming back out Sunday morning. And that's that. Hey, it's now Sunday afternoon, and I'm back from the, the camping trip up to Perry Sound. And uh, I'm just kind of going through gear now. And uh, there are definitely a few things that I brought that weren't really necessary. Uh, might be necessary depending on how things go in the, in the future, but they did, I didn't need them this trip. I, uh, in terms of clothing, I packed pretty much perfectly. I ended up using that fleece last night as it got a little chilly. But uh, the only thing I brought that I really didn't need was just a, a pair of 
crappy ass jogging shorts really that I really didn't need. But to take a look at some of the other stuff here. Thermarest, extraordinarily handy no matter what. Uh, didn't do any reading whatsoever. Had absolutely, should have just left that at home. Had of course good food. There was so much food at camp. I didn't even go through everything that I brought. Uh, most of the other stuff in here, yeah, kind of varied in terms of necessity, but it's not stuff I would want to leave. Tent stakes, I need to buy more. I have eight here for my uh, for my sill shelter. That was not enough. The uh, the pelican was handy to at least kind of duck my dying cell phone phone into, but uh, I don't know why I bring my iPod on these trips. I, I just don't make use of it. Life jacket, of course, we canoed out. Multi tool and my little survival knife always come in handy. The uh, over here though, the chair kit was handy. That was good for the that's for the thermorest. I used that, although it was a bit of a pain. The hatchet and the uh, little collapsible saw were absolutely useless. I didn't need them. Uh, Could have just left those at home. What else we got here? We got uh, all the the food gear here. Uh, this I filled with mead to bring along. This got used for for drinks. This thing I found quite handy for teas, and I even had some oatmeal in the the other part. In the bowl part. This, the origami plate, I didn't even get to use. Everything in the Trangia kit here was uh, very useful. Uh, you only didn't really need to bring the Trangia as we had a fire most of the weekend, so I could just cook right on that, but just boil water. But I really wanted to try out the Trangia. It was beautiful, awesome. Worked out perfectly. Stuck a few things over here. The uh, I slept underneath the, the sill shelter. I took some pictures of that. That's very handy. I love doing that. Much better than sleeping in a tent. At least when it's beautiful out like it was this weekend. This I used as a ground sheet. Ba uh, sleeping bag, of course, naturally needed. I needed to use both of the trekking poles for uh, for setting up the sill tarp. But it uh, worked out well. I need a little bit of help figuring it out, but I bought it off of uh, off my friend Will and he showed me how to, uh, to set it up properly. Mosquito netting over here and the uh, the mosquitoes weren't bad. It was the deer flies and the horse flies that were bad that, right now. So I didn't even use the mosquito netting at night. Rope. Everybody else had rope for stringing bear lines, so just didn't turn out to be useful this time, but not something I would want to forget. So what did I do wrong? Well, I apparently brought too much food. I should probably try to organize that a little bit better. Uh, but. It wasn't really my fault, it was that everybody else brought too much food too, so by the time I even got around to starting to cook my own dinners, I was already full. <laughs> That's the way it works sometimes. There's a few things I'm going to pick up going forward though, uh, a few things that I need, but uh, we'll get to that you know, next time or something. I'm sure I'll be posting again about these camping trips. Have a good one.